I had a bit of a shock a couple of months ago when I went to log into the dashboard of one of my WordPress sites and I couldn't log in. And I couldn't really understand it, so I went to the main site and discovered to my horror the site has been hacked. And I don't know if you can hear it, but in addition to the graphics and everything, there's a rather nasty heavy metal background music playing. Um, let's just go back to the login page. Uh, hang on just a second. And not only that, but every single WordPress blog and WordPress website that I had on this server had also been hacked by the same hacker. And so I needed to figure out first of all how I could access my data, how I could get back into my site, but also how I could stop it from happening again. And I'm going to share this information with you in this video series. Now there are three parts to this video series. In the first part I'm going to talk about WordPress's vulnerabilities and what you can do to reduce them or eliminate them. In the second part I'm going to talk about what you can do if you get hacked and these are the steps that I had to take to get my sites back after they were hacked. And finally, I'm going to talk you through some ways that you can protect yourself from hackers. How you can stop yourself from being hacked in the first place, if you're fortunate enough that your site hasn't been hacked. And how you can stop the hackers from coming back if your site has been hacked. So I'll see you on the next video where I'll talk you through some of WordPress's vulnerabilities.